Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be doing large props up to 11 by 17 or 13 by 19 or any size you may want without a printer. I'm using my phone after I uploaded the picture of the little boy from Coco Mellon. His name is Cody. He's the little black boy. And because I already did the other one and I did the watermelon. So these are done. So I'm printing out Cody, which is going to be coming out soon. And um, so we're going to do large props without using Cricut Design Space, without using Silhouette and those things. So the picture I'm printing out is 11 by 17. So here's the here's the 11 by 17 picture that I print out. That's my 11 by 17, and that's Cody. So, for a prop, for a props for a party or something, will display on top of your tables or something like that. This is still a nice size, 11 by 17. I didn't do a 13 by 19 because I don't know how to really work my new printer. And yes, excuse my table. I let my daughter use my grandchild use it for her fingernails to learn how to do fingernails, and this is acrylic stuff everywhere. It's not coming off my table. So please don't text me and tell me your table is dirty. You shouldn't be in a video like that. The table has acetone on it from the fingernails after letting my granddaughter use it and my table was new because I've been in my other videos. So the next part of this video is we're gonna cut Cody out. So oh, here's my little Cody. Cody's very. So we're gonna cut Cody out and try to get Cody as close as cut him out as close as possible. So while I'm cutting, I'm gonna say thank y'all for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Yes, I have a wide format printer. It's it's a uh, in case y'all want to know, it's a Epson ET16600 large wide format printer. And it's not used for sublimation, it's just used to make my large prints for my divas and everything else. I want to thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. And yes, there's a Facebook group called Crafting Together as One, which is run by me tracy my name tracy is run by denise and sharon we all monitor the group and we all run that group so if you want to make divas and everything else there's a lot of videos to watch i really appreciate y'all watching my videos showing me all this love you know you can hit me up with questions if you see this video and you like it and you like my other videos and I'm sure y'all gonna ask where to get the divas from because you want to try making one of my divas, just hit me up on Facebook Messenger. I will give you the pictures. As um, far as this picture and any other picture you would like to make when it comes to doing a large a large picture, you can just um find them in Google. Just type in Google uh, for large pictures and and do it so try to when you cut this picture out try to get closest to it at all so it won't have so much white left you know you can always finish cutting it and then go back over it later but you want to get make sure it's close enough to the um image as possible and i believe that you can go to the store if you want the three foot one and you don't want to do all that slicing and cutting you can always go to your staples or some place that make large prints and you can have these large prints cut out up to like 30 inches which is the size of a foam board that you get from the dollar tree and once you get that image you tell them you want it on a heavy duty paper like a card stock paper that way it won't nothing won't bleed through it when you put the glue and stuff behind it and then cut it out cut it out Add the foam board in the back of it. 
and make your large props. And it's all done with just uploading from Google and printing the picture out from your phone. Only if you have Wi-Fi printer. If you got a Wi-Fi printer, you can print from your phone. So there's a little bit of white on here, but that's okay because when I I'm gonna go over and finish some more. And I'm gonna finish cutting this and then I'll be back and we can go to part two. Okay, now that Cody is cut out. And yes, that will took some time to do. But you gotta be patient. I cut them up nicely. It's not a whole lot of white. Now this is this is still a, a large format, a large cutout. Only because it's 11 by 17 and the Cricut can't cut that small one out unless you do another method. This is a different method, which is in my other video. You look for it, it's called larger than mat for the Cricut machine. And then this one, we're all done with the Cricut machine and they're all 30 inches. And with 30 inches, it has to um more process. Every piece has to go on separately. And that's in my other video. So everybody don't want to do that step. So we're gonna do it another step. So if this is too small for you, you can always find a bigger um you can always go to staples and make your picture three foot and then cut it out and you'll still get the you won't get that look, because that looks like a layered picture look. This look like a regular picture look. So it's depending on what look you want and what you're going for. So I should be using white foam board, but I don't have none. So I'm going to use what I have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to trace around Cody on this board. And that way I can cut them out. So, and he still look big because that's the side. This the side of the board itself. And look how tall he is just to be on this part of the board. So he's still a nice size. So we're gonna hold him down nicely. You know, just try to trace it nice. So just follow it. Try not to write on his face and make a mistake and slide slide the pen and write on Cody's little face and you can do any image you want like I said go to Staples and print it out I'm gonna go to Staples and I'm gonna find out how much it costs to do this because I haven't researched on it on how much it actually will cost I just was gonna basically do a 13 by 19 but I didn't know how to work that printer because I haven't printed out a 13 by 90 yet. So I had to watch a video on how to do the settings. So. Just going to trace them and keep tracing them and tracing them. Try to stay, you know, in the lines. Because, you know, we want it to look nice. And if you're doing, like, if, you, if you're doing, like, props for a party or something like that, you can always make two of them mirror one of them by turning it backwards and then it would match up with the other side and you can um put one in the front and one in the back and that way you won't have to worry about having the plain white in the back but if you're going to make it and sell for somebody it's two different prices it's one with just one in the front or you charge another price if you're gonna put one in the front and the back because that's that's double work if you're gonna to decide to make them okay so I think I got everything nope I gotta get this side I don't know if I, I don't want to lift it and move it out of place but I don't remember getting his hands so let me go get his little fingers in here Cause my grandbaby love cuckoo melon and i'm gonna use some of this in the video um take some to the daycare um somebody i know is having a daycare they got a daycare so they will like some of these pictures on the wall all right 
I think I gotta cut out. Everything is good. So, look at Cody. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Nope, can't see it. <laughs> hey. All right. Let's get the razor together and let's start cutting the board up. Now, when you, I say when you start cutting the board, don't exactly go on the line. Go in, in the line on it, but like give it a little bit, just a little bit because the picture going over it on the side will make sure it don't have a whole lot of white like that. So I don't exactly go on the line. I just go under the line and, and, and cut it out. And if you make a mistake, it's still gonna, it still should cut as long as you don't cut too crazy. So just be patient with this and cut it out. So I'm gonna cut this out and I'll be back. So Cody's been cut out and then I'm trying to get these hands last. I'm gonna do these hands last. And, um, just make some squares in here. The finger's gonna hold over to the side. But these fingers, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So I just cut out some squares inside, the, inside for these fingers. Just making squares on top for the fingers. Now let's try to get them. Oh. So all that's done, we just gonna try to get all these pieces apart without messing Cody up. Yay! Came apart and looked good. Look at looking looking good. Looking good. Let me see if he fit. Alrighty. Come on, Cody. Make it work. Make it work. Cody works, y'all. Cody works. Cody works. And then when we finish, we just got to go back and clean Cody up a little bit more. Just go back and clean him up some. That's all. But you see, he's still pretty big. So this is still considered to be a large, larger than Cricut mat because it's 11 by 17. So let's put them together. I don't have no adhesive glue. I'm just going to use some of my B7000 and just basically put this all, tap it, tap it, tap it to where I want it, you know. I like the B7000. Just put it all around the face. B7000, y'all, you can get it from Amazon. Just try, just trace the whole face where you want to put it. Add some in the middle. You got time to stick it because this don't really stick that fast. So don't forget those little fingers. You keep on traveling all the way around his little body. And like I said earlier, the crafting group is called Crafting Together as One. It's on Facebook. Thank you for everybody subscribing to my channel. I'm up to 23,000 people. Thanks to y'all. I feel honored. For all your new people finding me, please subscribe to my channel. Check out the Facebook group. And um, make, make some craft. Make some money. All right, let's put Cody. Cody, Cody. Let's put Cody down. And with this glue, we can move him around a little bit to make sure we get everything where it needs to be, like his little fingers and things. And 
fingers and things. You know, you can move it around. Just move it a little bit. See where things need to go. You know what I mean? And then you just go back and clean it up some. See? Because you can see some of the white on the side. But you can't see it that much. And then if you want to put one in the back, put one in the back, one in the front. And that way you won't see what's going on in the back. But if you got it propped up against something, you can't really tell the difference. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to clean it up. And the way I'm going to clean it up a little bit is to go in in the angle. In the angle. I don't know if you can see it. In the angle. Angle it down and just cut off some of that extra see how I clean it up nice just by going in the angle and cutting off some extra that way it, it give you some, some definition let me get my clothes all right we blinked out for a second because I need my I phone. plug my phone up so I take a little break a little, little break so like I said, you go in, you go in, like on his face here, in the angle, and just cut out, cut out some of it underneath, so it won't show. That's all. It's just cutting it in like a little angle, so it won't show under his face. Like anything you do, you just have to be patient. Be patient. I mean, I, if, if I was making this as an order, I would put one in the front and the back. It's a little extra work because you gotta um, cut all these things out. It makes it a little more work. And my thing is the less work is better. part of his face alone before he keeps slicing and then my face left <laughs> all right let me go under here see what i can take out of his leg you know just clean it up a little bit a little bit a little bit how's it looking y'all other than i put a gash in his face i don't got cody face omg man cody gonna have a little spot on his face. Let me just let me bend it under. Bend it under and try to smooth it out. That way, Cody will be looking crazy. All right, so I'm pretty much done. This is 11 by 17. Cody, do you have some more spots on you? Let me see how it looks in the camera. It looks good. You can't see much. So, Cody, 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 Cody. <laughs> I ain't cute. I ain't cute. He got some, some little more hair. Go there and clean that up a little bit. You know, just mess with it. But don't, don't mess it all up. But if you're gonna do all this cleaning up, you got, you got to put it back on it because that ain't gonna be cute. With all that, with all this look a mess back here, don't it? If you put two of them back there, you won't see none of that can on. Here you go. This is the end of the project. This is 11 by 17. Once I learn how to work my printer, I can make it 13 by 19. And then I can use those for props to put on the party next to the table and stuff. You still got a little bit that I might need to clean up here and here, depending on the angle. Okay, let's do this angle. You won't see it. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you can see what else I've been up to. I just came back from Florida. It would rain every single day. 
you know that Cody earring every day. Yeah, I mean his eyes look like he looking at me, ain't he? But here you go. I did this by uploading the picture from my phone. Print out the 11 by 17, cut it out by hand, put it on the phone board. I will probably put a back one on too because I got a whole nother piece of paper up there with his picture on it. Put that on the back and you can put like a, a, a little dolly stick under the foot or something on one side because you don't want to put no stick down there. That ain't cute. That ain't going to be cute, y'all. Don't put no stick in between his leg. Put it under the foot. And then stick it in the in where the flower pot or whatever you're gonna put it in. Just put it under the foot, just not between the legs. It's not cute. All right. Thanks for watching my video.